Okay, this video is going to quickly show you how to graph a line, a straight line, if you are given the slope and you are given a point on that line. Okay, so I'll read this with you. Um, what we're going to be doing is starting with the point that you are given and from that exact spot we will use the slope to graph the next point. When you connect the points, you're done. That's all it is. So let's, uh, let's try some examples here really fast. Let's say they give you that the slope is, I don't know, 2 over 3. Now remember, slope is something you should have learned about before watching this video. Um, I have a video on what is the slope. And if you watch that, you'll know that this top part here, the numerator, is called the numerator. And the bottom part, <laughs> not the numerator. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the numerator and denominator. The top part here is the rise, and the bottom part we call the run. Okay, the rise is the up and the down, and the bottom is the side to side or the run. So if you're given 2 over 3 as your slope, let's say the point they give you is, um, let's say 0, comma 2. So 0, 2. Well, let's let's do this right now. Let's quickly graph this situation. Start with the point. So 0, 2. Well, again, I have another video on the Cartesian plane and how to graph this, so feel free to watch that video if you don't know how to do this part. 0, 2 would be right here. You don't go left or right, but you do go up to, to this exact spot. Now to pick another spot and to make a line, we're going to use the slope now. And it says 2 over 3, which means 2 up and 3 across. Let's try that. 1, 2 up, and 3 across. 1, 2, 3. Draw a dot, and then make a line. Let's see, do I have a good line? Yeah, I have one here. I will try, I will try to graph this and draw a line in here. You could have arrows on the ends to show that it goes on forever. Or if, if your question was saying that these are end points, um, if they're actually end points, then you would just draw a line like that and say you're done. So there we have it. We've just graphed a line given a slope. Let's try a couple examples, more examples. What if it was negative 2 thirds? What if that was your slope and the point was still the same, 0, 2? I think that's what we had before. 0, 2, you start with the point. What do you do if there's a negative sign here? Well, instead of going 2 up, we're going to go 2 down, but you still go 3 across in order to draw this correctly. So you go down 2 and across 3. So from this point, some people accidentally start from here and go down 2 and across 3. That is not correct. You want to start at this point right here and go 2 down, 3 across until you're right here. And there would be your line right there if you were to draw that carefully. Okay. Um, is there any other examples? What if, what if they gave us a slope of 3 and the point is, I don't know, 1, 2. Okay, start at the point. 1 across, 2 up. Oops. 1 across, 2 up. And the slope is 3. Be careful. 3 has a denominator. It's just invisible. It's really 3 over 1, which really means we need to be going 3 up and 1 across. One, two, three, and you notice I'm doing it from this point. One, two, three, one. It's a pretty steep slope. And there we have it. We've drawn our line. Your teacher may want you to make your line longer. I just did that to make it quick because my lines are so terrible. I'm not very good at drawing straight lines using the thing that I need to draw on this computer here. All right, that's the basics of it. Um, I'm going to go to the next page here. We're going to have a question. And the question says, a line segment has one endpoint as 1, 3, and the slope is negative 5 over 2. By the way, the slope is often written with the letter M. Okay? Find the coordinates of a possible endpoint B. Okay, well, let's just follow what we just did on the other page. 1, start with this point here, 1 over and 3 up. So 1 over and 3 up. Here we are. And from here, we're supposed to go negative 5 and 2. Remember, that B 
because of that negative sign, we're going to go down 5. Let the negative sign apply to the top here. So go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go 2 across. And there is our, our uh, line. Now, I guess they didn't ask for a line segment here, did they? I, sh I shouldn't have drawn that in. They were calling this an endpoint. This one is 1, 3. And they wanted to know, what is the endpoint right here? Well, it is 1, 2, 3 across. And how many down? 1, 2. This is one possible endpoint right here. Okay? There could be other endpoints that are possible because this keeps going with the exact same slope. For example, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2. And we could say this is an endpoint as well. So your teacher would be happy if you just wrote this as your endpoint. But if you had said, no, actually, I got 5 and, sorry, 5 across and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and negative 7 as my other endpoint, the teacher would also have to mark that correct. Could you also go up this way? Yes, you could. Okay? But this is probably the quickest. The 3, negative 2 is probably the closest endpoint. Now, what, what if you're given a slope and, uh, sorry, a slope and a point, but you're not allowed to graph? What if your teacher says, sorry, you're not allowed to graph? Okay, so think about it this way. Um, one endpoint is 1, 3. I'm going to use a different font here. This is just too hard for you to see. So one endpoint is 1, 3. And remember, that's, this is the x and the y. This is the side to side. And this is, this is like the run right here. And this is the rise. And we have a slope here that's written like this. I'm going to write the negative sign with the 5. There's the rise and there's the run. All you have to do to find another endpoint is take the rise from this point. Would it be the 1 or the 3, the rise? Well, I hope you're saying this would be the rise. This affects the rise right here. And this part here affects the run. So just put the 3 and the negative 5 together. 3 plus negative 5. Well, if we were to show another point, we could go 3 plus the negative 5, and that would give us negative 2. And over here, we would take the run over here and the one that's right here that affects the run. You'd go 2 plus 1 is 3. And notice that we just came up with a point that looks very familiar. 3, negative 2 is what we found right here. Okay, we used graphing to find that answer. And over here, I'll say it again, you take the negative 5 as your rise and you say, how is that being affected? The 3 and the negative 5, when you put them together, you just add them, you're going to get a negative 2. And when you go 1 plus 2, you get a 3 for the run. This can give us our new point. And that can also get the answer without needing to graph. Okay? I just thought I would show you that example really quick. Um, once again, if you need to know more about slope, etc., I have many videos that explain all this stuff in a lot more detail. Okay? Have a great day, everyone. And good luck out there with your math courses.